Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2017 Range Rover Vogue. So from any screen, uh, home that's the home screen. So say for instance you're on sat-nav, you click the house symbol, that's, that's home. And you've got tap to connect phone. Now then, the settings buttons here, the, the two cogs, if we click settings, so I just click settings again. You've got home settings in all settings. Now that's when you're in home. However, if we just go back, we click on phone, then we click the settings, then you come up with phone settings. So click on phone settings, settings for all phones, Bluetooth settings, pair new device, paired devices. You can forget all devices there, knock them all out completely, or click on the list of paired devices like so, you see there, Barry's iPhone 13. That's the one I want to disconnect. It's got connect there. However, click on that, brings up a new menu. You'll see there, if you're having trouble playing audio or anything like that, do exactly the same as this and make sure there's a tick in the audio there. However, at the bottom there, we want, we can either click it for primary phone, so if two of you get in, it'll, it'll pair to your phone and your phone will work through the, the dash or forget device, click forget device. That's it, that's it gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to uh, pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2017 Range Rover Vogue. So from any screen, first of all, we make sure that Bluetooth is switched on, it is. We go down to the bottom, over here, you'll see a telephone there, or settings there or home. If I go to home, and there's no phone connected here at the moment. You've got their phone tap to connect, or I can click the phone symbol, and there you go, you've got pair new device. Click pair new device. Use your device to search for Range Rover. Now we're watching out at the bottom here. Range Rover's come up, I click on Range Rover, and then we're just watching over here, that's thinking about it. There we go, verify these numbers match the display on Barry's iPhone 13 Pro, 986-298, 986-298. So click pair there and yes there. Allow contacts and favorites to sync, allow. That should all be connecting and there you go. Barry's iPhone's connected there and then Range Rover connected there. That's the one, that's how you pair a mobile. Okay, I'll just show you how to play music or stream audio in this 2017 Range Rover Vogue. Um, first of all, you go to music, pick a record that you like. Uh, go on, we'll uh, click that one. I'll click play onto there. I'm gonna turn it down. You see at the bottom there, the silver triangle and the three silver circles. You have two options there. It will either play through your iPhone speaker or your Range Rover. It, Range Rover's ticked, so we'll go back to the record. Over here to the system, I'm gonna turn that down. And then we want this music symbol, the, the note symbol and the clapperboard. Click on that. Uh, that. That's on the radio at the moment. However, you go up to source, click source, and then that gives you your other options. Television, media library, Barry's iPhone Pro 13. That's the one. So I'll click on there, it's showing you what's playing just click that again because it's uh, when I've gone onto there it's gone off so I'll click that I'll turn this up here turn it up here so that's how you stream audio okay I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2017 Range Rover Vogue so from any screen that's the home screen so you've got your phone there media navigation uh, however if you were say on the phone screen you could just click on navigation which is there the arrow click on the navigation um, that's not showing a whole lot there. Um, click on navigation again. You've got search. We're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, Hale Walton, Preston, and the postcode is P R five four E A. Nothing happens. You've got to press the return button to enter that. Now then you come up with another screen, it shows a map, but nothing happens. However, PR54EA, you've got to highlight that, and then you actually get to start.
After 100 yards, you will reach your destination. That's it. That's how you set the sat nav. So th that's how you work the system. However, there's another system as well, which is better in my opinion. So if you've got your charging lead for your phone, we'll just plug that in to one of the USB sockets in there. Plug it into your phone. Nothing seems to have happened at the moment. However, I'm going to normally it would just go straight onto Apple CarPlay if your system was set up. So what we do, wind that across, you'll see Apple CarPlay there. Click Apple CarPlay. Well, there you go. It's allow CarPlay with Range Rover while phone is locked. Yes, you need to do that. That's quite important. So allow that. That's that's basically. I can put my phone down now. I don't need to do anything. That's that's actually come on to uh, Audible. So to get the menu back on, we'll click all the, the squares there. That's the menu. Um, now, you don't need to touch the phone. Using the voice activation, if I click this for a couple of seconds, you'll see the Siri, uh, like baseball, come up there. Navigate to McDonald's. Yes. Getting directions to McDonald's. Starting route to McDonald's. There you go. The green go button Head comes up. West on Blackburn Road. You can either press the, the button or just wait for it or just keep driving and it'll it'll set it automatically. So we'll just do that again. Navigate to the chill factory, Manchester. One possibility is Chill Factor on Trafford Way. Is that the one you're looking for? Yes. Getting directions to Chill Factor. Now I've already put a uh, navigate to McDonald's in the first thing. So that's saying add as a stop. So we'll, we'll be going to... Your next stop is Chill Factor. There you go. So that's added it, it in. So you can put a few stops in if you want. It's, it's a pretty good system. That's the music symbol. And these are the last used things that, that come up with kind of like a quick menu. So if I click on tunes, it's uh, just showing you there. It'll, it'll just shuffle through your, your tunes or you can ask it to play a, a, a specific tune. Um, play Glory. Glory by the score on Apple Music. So, as I say, all you have to do, keep your finger on this button, the voice activation button for a couple of seconds, and you can you can basically just do anything. Text Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? I'm sat in a Range Rover Vogue, it's absolutely fantastic. It says, I'm sat in a Range Rover Vogue, it's absolutely fantastic. Send it. Yes. Done. Now, as you know, you're driving along, somebody sends you a text, and you see, you, you see people at traffic lights looking at the, t trying to read the text and so on. When it's got Apple CarPlay, you don't need to do that. You heard the text come then. You can see there, the text is up. There's a, that, that's because it's one of the last used ones. There's a little red uh, circle in the top. That means you've got a message, obviously. However, if it was just on the actual screen, you'll see their messages in one. So we've got a text message. Now, a couple of seconds, voice activation. Read texts. Barry sent a new message. I'm sat in a Range Rover Vogue. It's absolutely fantastic. Would you like to reply? No. Those are all your messages. So, it's, uh, it's a fantastic system. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.